Here we discuss about non bullous ichthyosiform, erythroderma, and epidermolytic ichthyosis. At first, we discuss about non bullous ichthyosiform erythroderma. It has an autosomal recessive inheritance and is a rare disease. Age of onset is at birth, with male and female equally affected. About the clinical features, the newborn is encased in a collodion membrane, which is shed in a couple of weeks, and there will be generalized erythema especially conspicuous on face, with fine branny scales, which persist throughout life. The points for diagnosis include, presence of collodion membrane at birth, presence of small branny scales on a background of diffuse erythema, and generalized involvement. Treatment includes hydration of skin, use of emollients and moisturizers, and keratolytic agents. Next, we discuss about collodion baby. A collodion baby is a morphological diagnosis most frequently associated with an underlying ichthyotic disorder, like nonbullous ichthyosiform erythroderma, lamellar ichthyosis, and less often with X-linked ichthyosis, and rarely, on shedding the membrane, reveals normal skin. Here the neonate is born with a smooth and shiny skin, giving a lacquered appearance, as if covered with cellophane or collodion. The tightness of the skin causes ectropion and aclabium, and the outer cover is eventually shed to reveal the underlying ichthyosis, and rarely, skin is normal. There are complications like temperature dysregulation, feeding difficulties, due to aclabium, and water and electrolyte imbalance. Harlequin ichthyosis is a variant of collodion baby, where the skin is covered with thick fissures skin resembling an armor. The condition is often fatal. Treatment includes high humidity incubator nursing necessary to maintain body temperature and to restrict water loss and regular application of emollients to make skin supple, and short course of acetretin, an oral retinoid, which hastens shedding. Next about, the epidermolytic ichthyosis, which is a type of keratinopathic ichthyosis, an autosomal dominant disease, with mutations in keratin 1 and 10 genes. About the epidemiology of the disease, it is also a rare disease, and equally affecting both males and females, and onset of the disease is at birth. The morphology of the disease is divided into two phases, neonatal phase and childhood phase. In the neonatal phase skin develops generalized erythema interspersed with numerous blisters. And as the child grows, in the childhood phase, the erythema and tendency to blister reduces. Child gradually develops brownish, warty, hypercratotic, waxy, predominantly broad linear lesions. The warty scales may fall off in small areas, leaving bald patches, called mossiering phenomenon. And in extreme cases, there is massive hypercratosis, which resembles a range of mountains called ichthyosis hystrax. This is the image showing typical lesions in epidermolytic ichthyosis and the ichthyosis hystrax. The lesions in epidermolytic ichthyosis are generalized with accentuation at the joint flexures, often resulting in linear spiny lesions.
it is associated with palmoplantar keratoderma in 60% patients. A variant of epidermolytic ichthyosis is the unilateral linear lesions, clinically resembling linear varucous epidermal nevus, but with typical histology. The points for diagnosis are history of blistering in infancy, warty scales, most prominent in the flexures, showing mossearing phenomenon, palmoplantar keratoderma in 60% and typical histology of vacuolar degeneration of keratinocytes. This is the histology showing vacuolar degeneration of keratinocytes and hyperkeratosis. For the treatment, general measures like genetic counseling and hydration of skin and in blistering stage, maintain local hygiene, use topical emollients or moisturizers and topical or systemic antibiotics may be needed and in severe cases systemic steroids. In the hyperkeratotic stage, dot use topical emollients or moisturizers and topical retinoic acid, which results in flattening of lesions, but should be avoided in flexures and in severe cases, acetretin misused, but it may result in blistering initially. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, feel free to like and share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos.